Number 25, calculate the wavelength of light that has its second order maximum at 45 degrees when falling on a diffraction grating that has 5,000 lines per centimeter. So uh, basically what we need to do is we need to take this information about the number of lines per centimeter and somehow convert that into a length per line or a length per slit or the distance between the slit, okay? So this is essentially now, uh, in order to solve this, what we need is we just need to realize that we need to have the distance on the top, the centimeters on the top per line now, okay? So really what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna flip this. This was 5,000 lines per single centimeter. So now I'm gonna have one centimeter per 5,000 lines. So that's going to now tell me when I do the math there, one divided by 5,000 is gonna be two times 10 to the minus fourth. Now this is two times 10 to the minus fourth centimeters now per line okay, or per slit. Now, remember, this is in centimeters, okay? We're probably gonna want it in meters, so multiply that by 10 to the minus two, so that will become a six. This will then change to just meter, and to correct that all, you can just multiply that by 10 to the minus two in there, all right? Now we got enough information we need here in the form we need to now calculate the wavelength. Since they're talking about maximums, we're gonna be using the constructive formula over here on the right-hand side says that the distance between those lines multiplied by then the sine of the angle is going to equal then the order multiplied by the wavelength. To solve for the wavelength, simply divide out now the order. And here we have a nice little formula here. So I'm going to take the distance I just found, the 2 times 10 to the minus 6th, multiply that then by the sine of the angle, which was 45 degrees. Simply then divide that now by the order. It said second order, so that's going to be a 2 down there. Simply take out the calculator, plug and chug. So this is 2 times 10 to the minus 6th. Multiply by sine of 45, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, and then divide that all by 2, and what are we going to get? 7.07 .07 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. That's now the wavelength, about 707 nanometers. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope this helps. If it does, check out some more of our videos. We've got thousands of them out there for you in different subjects. All right? So even if you're not using the OpenStax books, go download it. Find a similar problem in the chapter. All right? And I guarantee you, you will be able to find one. All right, and we'll be able to help you through those problems. We'll see you soon.